You need to know DB Math. One of the wireless LAN design rules is as a designer, you need to understand DB Math because you're going to be using it for all sorts of things. So, in this little video, we're going to talk about some quick ways you can learn to do DB Math, even in your head. And we'll finally end up with a little Excel spreadsheet you can play with so you can reinforce the knowledge. I've been teaching DB Math for literally decades. They've called it rules of tens and threes and all sorts of things and built little tables and charts. And you can always look up online and get a DB to milliwatt table. DBM stands for decibels compared to one milliwatt. So everything we're doing is comparing it to a milliwatt. So zero DBM is one milliwatt. Everything else comes off of there. Well, anyway, like other math tricks, there's a bunch of math tricks that exist out there like uh, crazy silly ones like if you want to count on your knuckles January, February, March, April and you can use your knuckles to count things. You can use your fingers to count. This is a technique we can use to kind of cheat on math. And how we do that is we just simplify up what's really a complex logarithmic function and turn it into really simple math. Let's give it a try. Easy DB math in just five minutes. And it probably won't even take me five minutes to show you. And here it is. There's two rules. First rule. The left side is going to be DBs and the right side is going to be what I call regular math. And all you need to do is draw a line down the page and put those two sides. So the DB stuff stays on the DB side and the regular math stays on the regular and never do they cross. Okay, that's the first rule. The second rule is kind of a compound rule. And what it is, is you're going to need to memorize a couple of things. They're not terribly difficult to memorize. So first one is the plus sign looks like a plus sign. You're going to rotate it and it will become times. So pluses live only on the DB side. Times live only on the regular math side. So plus rotates to times. Minus rotates to divide. So on the minus is on the DB side, becomes a divide on the other side. 10 on the DB stays 10 on the regular side. So those first three are pretty easy. Plus rotates, minus rotates, 10 stays 10. And the last one you're just going to have to memorize. 3 on the DB side becomes a 2. Don't ask me why. It's a rule. It's just a cheat thing. And that's how it works. And that's all you have to do. Leave the DBs on the DB side, leave the, the regular math on the regular math side, and life goes on. So let's try a couple and see how this works. On the left side, it says, what is 13 DBM? Well, let's convert it into its component parts. 13 is 10 plus 3. And so on the left side of your page, just write 10 plus 3. Remember, left side is for DB only. Now, to go over to the right side, we're going to have to use those little conversion rules. 10 stays a 10. That's a rule. Plus becomes a times. Remember, plus rotates to a times. So on the right side, you're going to go 10 times. And then what does the 3 become? The 3 on the left becomes a 2 on the right. So it becomes 10 times 2, or 20. 13 dBm is equal to 20. Let's try 36. Now, if we're going to write that out, it's going to be a little long. You're going to go 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 3 plus 3. Whew. On the right side, you're going to convert that to 10 times 10 times 10 times 2 times 2. And that's going to give you the correct answer. 10 times 10 is 100 times another is 1,000. Double is 2,000. Double again is 4,000. 36 dBm is 4,000 milliwatts. Now, we said dBm, so the answer is going to be in milliwatts. Well, what about 27? How do I get to 27 and all I have are 10s and 3s? Well, in that case, I'm going to take 10 plus 10 plus 10 minus 3. And remember, the minus on the left becomes a divide. So this is going to be 10 times 10 times 10 divided by 2. 10 times 10, 100 times 10, 1,000 divided by 2, 500. 27 dBm is 500 milliwatts. Well, how would you get to 15? You can go 10 plus 5, but there is no 5s on the left side. There's only 3s. I could go 
10 plus 10 and then try to subtract 5, but again, there's still no 5s on the left side. We have to stay with the rule the way it is. So to get to 15, it's 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, 5 times. When you get it over to the right side, it'll be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 15 dBm is 32 milliwatts. And you can do the 45 on your own. Anything you have in dB can follow the same very quick rule. Now there's a way we could show this, and we teach this in some of our classes, is to use a, a, a table that we're going to build. Say you walk into a testing center, you want to take a test, and you forgot all the rules about this, you only know a little bit, so you want to wish you had a cheat sheet with you. Well, you're taking the test, you sit down, they give you a piece of scratch pad, you can build your own DB chart really fast. Kind of like this. Now, this is just a subset. I've included, if you go to wmpros.com blog where this YouTube video is, there's a link that it also says you can download this file and you can print it out as well. So, we know that 3 equals 2. So, 3 is 2. Well, if we have two 3s, is 6. A 6 is going to be 2 times 2. And that's going to be 4. And then when you get to 9, it's going to be 8. When you get to 12, it's going to be 16. And so those are the green ones, and it says do the 3s. So the first time, you just build a little chart, 1 through 36, whatever you want, and then do the 3s. 3 is 2. 6, 4, 9, 8, 12, 16. And you just do 2, 4, 8, and fill all of those in. It's really easy. And that's going to do all the 3s. Then you would come back and do the tens. Ten is what? Ten is equal to ten, so ten is ten. How about a twenty? Well, a twenty is two ten, so that'd be ten times ten or a hundred. You put a hundred there, and so you do all the tens. Then you go back and you do the ten halves, because we know if you go up by three, you're going to double. Three, six, nine, we doubled. But when we go the other way, we're going to go divide by two or half. So you start at the ten, and then you do the ten halves. So you go ahead and half. Ten minus three. You go up 3 to 7, is going to be 5. Oh, that's what it looks like on the screen. And then you go from 7, up 3, 1, 2, 3, to 4, and you get 2.5. You go up again, 1, 2, 3, till you get to 1, you get 1.25. So you just fill this chart in. You do the 3s, then the 10s, then the 10 halves, and then you do the 20 halves. So if you go up to 20, 20 minus 3 is 17, so that's going to be half of up to 50, and you fill them all in, and eventually you fill all these things out just following these little rules. But what I'm going to leave you with today is an Excel spreadsheet that does the same things here, but we're going to talk a little bit about some of the differences between the methods we can use. So I'm now going to switch over to Excel, and we're going to look at an Excel spreadsheet. Here's our Excel spreadsheet for dBm to milliwatt conversion, and I've highlighted here is the big formula itself that we're using. Milliwatt is equal to 1 times 10 to the dBm divided by 10 power. That's the log that we're doing. Anyway, this is the Excel formula I used. And I used three different tables here to show you the difference of how you calculate. The actual calculation for dB math, it's the formula. It's a logarithm. But most of us can't do logarithms in our head. But we can use some of these other techniques to do dB to milliwatt conversion in our head all the time. So using the calculation, you can see the number is 1.26 and 1.58. But some of the numbers, like 100, is the same across the board because the math is exactly the same. Now if we use the doubling method, three doubles, and I've highlighted those in bold, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512. And when we get up here to 1,000, and I got there by doubling, Double, 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 double. And I got it. To, wait, that's 1,024. But if I use the actual function, it came out to be 1,000. So my doubling trick, it's just a trick, a technique, isn't perfect, but it gets you really close. So when I do the doubling, and you see it gets a little further out, as we double further and further and go to really big numbers like a million over here, it's off, you know, substantially. But as a percentage, it's pretty low. So the doubling method works. I could also do the doubling method on all of them. I could take the 1.25 and double it to 2.5 and double it to 5 and double it to 10 and double, double, double. So I can double starting anywhere and the doubling process works. 
So you could use the doubling method as well. And then the next one is, what if I use the times 10 version? And if I just go times 10, times 10, times 10. So if we go over to the 125, times 10 is 12.5. Times 10, again, 1.25. And both techniques that are both cheats get you really close to what you're looking for. So the previous PDF, where you just fill it in, you do the, the threes, then the tens, then the ten halves, then the ten doubles. You can fill in and make your chart yourself. You can build it in Excel. You can decode the one that I gave you here so you can kind of see how I built it to, to do either the doubling or the tens. And you can see why they're slightly off. But on any exam question you ever have, or basically anything you would do in the real world, any of these methods will give you an answer that's close enough to put in your controller or to answer whatever test question you have. DB Math, something you need to know, it's a rule. Follow it.